Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. Today in this lecture, I will cover what is fundamental theorem of arithmetic. In my, pre in my previous lecture on real numbers, uh, in first lecture I covered that what is real number and how to find out the HCF of two numbers using Euclid theorem. Okay, but in this video I will tell you what is fundamental theorem of arithmetic. From this we will find out how to find out the HCF and LCM of two numbers. But this theorem states that statement of this theorem is okay. Every composite number every composite number can be expressed as a product of as a product of prime numbers ok and this factorization will always be unique nobody gonna ask you what is the statement of fundamental theorem of arithmetic this I am writing only to let you guys know that what this theorem states that to uh, have you a clear idea is unique okay but this theorem states that let me give you an example what this theorem means to be let us say the composite number is 120 so what this theorem states that is every composite number can be expressed as a product of prime numbers so prime numbers are like 2 3 5 7 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, okay, 29, 31, 37, 41, 43, 47, 47 up to like this, up to 100 or some else, okay. I have to express this number as a product of the prime numbers so what I will do here is uh, as you might have studied it in your previous classes what we do for this question is like 210 then again 105 then again divide by 3 it will comes out to be 35 then again 5 then 7 then 7 1 so I will write this number as 2 into 2 into 2 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 5 into 7 so I have expressed this number as a product of the prime numbers so how comes the question based on this question can be like that if you are given a number this and you are given another number means 32 and if you write the uh, product of prime numbers this as 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 and you have to find out the HCF of the 420 and 32 so what you will see that there are only two common prime factors so you will say the HCF is 2 into 2 which means 4 and for the LCM you will say all the vectors in these two already comes in this so rest two will be here so this will be the LCM of these two numbers which means 420 into 8 it will be roughly 3360 so I am giving you just a simple example in my next lecture I will uh, show you different examples how questions comes on this fundamental theorem of arithmetic and if you have any doubt on the theorem what is the theorem so please guys do comment in the comment section i will be happy to help there and stay tuned for next lecture in which i will give you some uh, typical examples how the question will come into exams okay students thank you